am Anna Lee, the Creative Director of Art Space in downtown Raleigh, North Carolina. Today I'm going to give you a virtual tour of the solo exhibition on view in Gallery One, Shape Shifting, by artist Sephora Camille Thompson. As the name would suggest, this exhibition is very much about transformation, shape shifting, as it relates to particular bodies, forms, and landscapes. The artist is using very disparate materials, both fine art, traditional materials such as fibers, ceramics, paint, as well as found objects that she uses in a very intuitive way. By doing this and combining these disparate processes, the artist creates both a tension and a balance between her finished works of art. In the piece behind me, you can see the combination of found materials such as raffia, construction tape, fishing line, balanced in perfect harmony with this exquisitely tightly woven surface of these two main bodies on the wall. So one of the most satisfying things for me as a curator is being able to work closely with the artist on installations. This doesn't always happen and it's not the same for every artist or every exhibition. But in the case of Sephora, she very much works intuitively, not only in the creation of the objects that you see on view, but also in the display itself. The way that things are put together in this space aren't necessarily the way in which they may be put together in another space, whether it be a gallery or your home. So the piece behind me, for example, came together in a very organic way. The artist knew that she wanted to use this fabulous rainbow mylar that you see and, and the tape to construct it, but she really was working within this particular space to create the form she needed and then balanced it with the finished woven object uh, to just behind me here on the left. You'll also see one of the ceramics works that I alluded to earlier. So Zephora is an extremely open artist in terms of her process um, in that she allow, she doesn't allow material, space, or form to really um, restrict her in any way. Uh, the process is exceptionally intuitive and so satisfying uh, for me to, uh, to watch. So not only is Sephora's process of installation one that is incredibly interactive and organic, but the visitor's experience of this work will hopefully have that element as well. There's something about these works that invite a sense of participation or even ritual for the viewer encountering them. It's most evident in this piece behind me, which is constructed to be a sort of altar, where space for transformation, or ascension even, and you can see that through the way in which the various elements are displayed and come together. This void of glitter on the wall feels like a portal or a gateway um, through which we might be able to transcend into something else. There's a cosmic energy in the gallery space, just very much intentional in, in the artist's work. So I mentioned that the work is rooted in the idea of, of bodies. Um, the artist is also very much interested in landscapes. She's particularly interested in the process of othering and trying to um, counteract that process, particularly where black women's bodies and uh, queer bodies are concerned. So as you walk through this exhibition, I encourage you to be open to all of these ideas and respond to the work in, in a way that allows 